Hello. Welcome. Hello, good people. Welcome to the Coach and Miller Light Show. Here we go. Today, during my studies, I listened to the wow. teachings of Abraham, yeah. wrote down word for word what I heard Abraham say. And man, is it ever exciting. Really thankful to be talking about this today because I believe that when I have these understanding, this understanding here, when I have this ingrained in my consciousness that this is the way I'm living my life, it's going to alter everything for the better. On the last edition, we talked about law of attraction. Law of attraction, the most powerful, most consistent law in the universe, the manager of vibrations, bringing like energies together. And here I am, here we are, this most magnificent, most splendid, most remarkable being ever created with the power of all that is, the power of prime force, the power of first cause, the power of the tetragrammaton within us, flowing through us. We have the ability, this is what the math on the board says, is that we have been gifted with free will. And through our attention, through our focus, whatever our attention is on, that is what we invite into our experience. Pretty exciting. So Abraham says something super cool about these laws. They say that the interesting thing about these laws, the interesting thing about law of attraction, is that it is whether or not I know that it is. And it affects my experience even in my ignorance of it. That law of attraction is a universal law. There's no getting around it. And that because it wasn't taught, it's not taught in schools yet, or at least the, the majority of them. So there's this ignorance to law of attraction. And because there is a time gap between my sending out the vibration and the experience that that vibration caused, it seems like someone else is doing it to me. If it was an instant response, then I would easily see, okay, when I think it, when I feel it, when I say it, it happens. Oh, it's a sunny day. I feel brand new. Yeah. There's about a million things that dance break. Do. Oh, would you like to do them too? Cause it's a big All right. Here's what Abraham said today. You have prided yourself in being a coper. In other words, you're not a complainer. You don't try to make more of something than it is, but we can feel within you a sort of willingness to ignore how you are feeling. That's what causes ulcers and high blood pressure, is a sort of unwillingness to acknowledge how you feel. Wow. Holy Jesus, can you believe it? That's what causes ulcers and high blood pressure. A sort of willingness to ignore how we feel, to become a coper, sort of accepting how you feel. We're not wanting you to complain, but we are choosing for you to be aware of how you're feeling. If you don't have an awareness of how you feel, then you don't have the awareness when you've improved the way you feel. Most think to make their life better, well, I need to find a way to get more hours out of the day, or I need to be more productive, or I need to be more cooperative, I need people to be more cooperative with me. I need to do a better job of planning the schedule. Is Abraham reading my mind? I need to be more realistic about how much I can get done in a day. This is hilarious. None of that is what we are encouraging you to give your attention to. Okay, right? This catches my attention. Now what would Abraham like me to give my attention to? We would like you to give your undivided attention to how you feel and what thoughts you could think about whatever's happening that would feel better to you. Okay. So instead of trying to find a way to change my world, manage time better, make people more cooperative, schedule better, schedule different, what they're saying is instead of doing all that, find a way to look at, find a way to think about my current situation in a way that feels better to me. 
So first I'm gonna have to start being aware of how I feel. Tune in to my feelings and admit how I'm feeling to myself. Now when I know how I feel, now I'll know when I've moved up. We would like to show you the leverage you get from alignment. Oh baby, thigh miss thump already. Yes, the leverage that you get from alignment. This is so exciting to me because I've been choosing this answer. And here it is. You could be reasonably out of alignment and coping with it, living with it, saying this is just what this business is like or this is just what my job is like. This is just what this project is like. Accepting it, but not liking it. And under those vibrational conditions, things can't get better for you. Isn't it good to know that there are laws and that as I come to understand the law and know how it works, now I can work my life in a way that's effective and works with the law. I love the idea of how there's this, this leverage in energy alignment. I choose leverage, come on. You could be living with those conditions and rather than tolerating them, be trying to soothe yourself. Until you come into vibrational alignment, then the circumstances that are surrounding you would morph into something more pleasing. Woo! to show you how to do this so that your situation will morph into something more pleasing. We choose to show you how to do this because it feels better when you do this. Oh, ease while you're working is so much better than stress while you're working. Makes so much sense and I'm so thankful to hear this today. So what am I getting out of it? When I'm approaching my, my current situation in life, instead of trying to manage it better or change anything out in the physical world, change my inner world. <laughs> this is the message, it's been coming around in all different ways, different formulations of words, different words and different orders, but it's all telling me the same thing. Skipper, will you please make an appearance and close up this, this video for us today? Most totally, I mean, this is really exciting because, you know, I've been looking for this answer and I believe that when I go through my life and I keep going with this whole thing, you know, I've been on this like, this is for me, you know, no matter what comes my way, doesn't matter what it is, when I approach it and say, this is for me, there's something in my benefit here. What I'm hearing today in the teachings of Abraham is that my part is to serve myself. Well, that sounds fantastic. I like to serve myself. And how I'm going to serve myself is through thoughts that feel a little bit better, you know? I can look at it like, well, if I've got a lot on my plate, that means that I'm very capable. I like to be somebody who's capable. I like to be somebody who can get a lot done in a day. I like to be able to be responsible and productive in life. And this is for me. The universe is working in my favor. Why? Because I'm Skipper. That's right, I am. The most magnificent creation of the most spectacular creator. And so are you. Can you believe it? We're the most magnificent. Will you find this one with me? How about a little smile and nod? So thankful to be here with you today. And until next time, what do you say? Let's serve ourselves. We, we can do it. Think of things in a little bit more pleasing way. Instead of trying to change the outer condition, change the way that I'm viewing it. Because ease is so much better than stress. And remember, how am I going to remember the law? Begin by being still. Quiet the outer world so that the inner world might bring you sight. <laughs>